I was in Nashville at the Quartet Convention in the Ramada. Uh, and Mosey, were you there? When was that? We were at a CSAC meeting or something. It seemed like some meeting in Nashville when she died. When she yeah, died. yeah, I was there. You were there. Yeah. And I was, uh, I was in a meeting with you, and I was talking with Jimmy Jones, and somebody said that she had had a heart attack, and I saw them carry him out uh, on a stretcher. I, w I walked into the motel, and you were the first person that I saw, and, and you said, uh, Chief just, just passed away. And it was a tremendous shock, and I... Uh. I don't, I don't know if I even said anything to you, but uh, it's true. Tell me about Chief. What was your experience, Rosie, in singing all those years with Chief? Oh, he was very... We used to sit at that table and talk till three and four, sometimes see the sun coming up. I don't think he ever got tired of talking. About to talk. And uh, just, uh, we go out there and work on that old bus, you know, and get your easy up, you know. <laughs> And carrying those great big old A7s in. Yeah. Speaker to them. That was mine, his job, Kevin. It's one of them all don't have hernia. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Rosie, he left he left to talk to young singers. Oh, yeah. He left to carry yeah. young people. Take up time. Yeah, he, he, had, he always had time for people. The hunting business was not a fictitious thing. I mean, he was, he was a serious hunter, right? Every year. Uh, at a certain time of the year, we took off a week, and he went to his home in South Georgia, where he was born and raised, Ty Ty, Georgia, T Y T Y, a little town out from Tifton, Georgia, yeah. and quail hunted for a week <laughs> with a bunch of his old cronies that he went to school with. I, th I think the reason a lot of people like him, a lot of a lot of guys like him is the fact that he that he seemed like an outdoors character and, and rough and, uh, and 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 just enjoy the outdoors. Hey, let me play this clip. You were all there when it was done, but I but I think it shows, I think it shows his tenderness and his sensitivity, and uh, it's kind of a male thing. We got a guy in our hometown, Johnny Carroll, who uh, likes guys like this, and I want to play this little clip. Home, sweet home, home, sweet home. Back in South Georgia, when I was just a lad, near the Oki Finoki Swamp, possum and coon hunting was really the fad. We boys would all gather with all of our hounds and head for the swamp to hear a beautiful sound. We'd get to the swamp and find a sitting down place and all settle back and listen to the chase. But one dark night, for some reason or another, I wandered off and got lost from the others. Well, I floundered around for four nights and three days, thinking maybe I could find my own way. But I can tell you now, on that fourth day, there was one little nine-year-old boy that learned how to pray. I fell on my knees beside a great big log, too exhausted to think I began to sob. If you'll help me, Lord, to get out of this place, I'll wash my hands. I'll even wash my face. I'll mind my grandma when she tells me what to do. She understands, boys, Lord. She even told me about you. I guess you understand, boys, too, Lord, because you got one of your own. I heard what happened to him, and I'm real sorry. But I sure wish you'd help me find my way home. I'm hungry, Lord, tired and thirsty, too. I've gone in circles for four long days, and I don't know, Lord, just what else to do. Why, down at the church, 
just the other day when our little preacher started in to pray, he said, you help people that get themselves lost. Said you'd help them get found if they just pay the cost. Now, I don't know, Lord, just what it is you charge, but I'll pay you, Lord. But you may have to wait till I grow up and get to be big and large. But I still may not know what it is you want me to do. But all you got to do is just holler, Lord. And I'll drop what I'm doing and come running. Because I'll know I owe this to you. When I finished my prayer and opened my eyes, there stood old Blue. Was I ever surprised? He began to whine and lick my chin as if to say, Boy, where in the world have you been? Then I heard my grandpa's whistle shrill, the most beautiful sound. I can hear it still. Now, he'd whistle many times to call me in from play. But that one long whistle, I can hear it today. I closed my eyes and said, Thank you, Lord. I know that I'd get found if you would just say the word.